I just want to know how magnetic trains are made. That's my question. I'm really confused. I am really like it's unbelievable. Like trains are floating. <laughs> hey, Nordanglia. Yeah, that that feeling of being confused and interested and everything. Um, that's something that comes in waves on the same subjects uh, over and over again as you study science and engineering of various types. I totally understand where that feeling is coming from, and if that is something that's exciting to you, that's great because it never goes away. Hi, uh, I'm Jared. I'm a fifth year now PhD student at MIT, and I study physics. Okay, so I have a question. Like, how magnetic vehicles are made to float without any energy? Like for example, take like a magnetic train. The train has magnets down and the tracks also have magnets. So the trains are floating. Like I just want to know how magnetic trains are made. Yeah. So typically whenever you have a magnet and like a bar magnet is a typical one that people think of. So you've got the north and the south side, you know, they're colored differently. And if you bring another magnet around it, it'll follow and move and all that. And you don't need some external source of power for this to happen. As long as these are permanent magnets, they'll, they'll stay doing this basically forever. The way the geometry works for a maglev train is you've got the rails, the tracks that the train moves on, and then the rails of the train itself are more shed like a U, and the U goes around the track here. And so what they do is they make the strength of the magnet at any given time just perfect so that it floats in the middle rather than resting on the top or resting on the bottom. But wait. How does the train move? That's primarily uh, what are called gradients along the track. So you could make the pull of the magnets strong in one area and weaker in another. And there's patterns that you can create like this that'll create motion forward and backwards. And that's where you do actually have to provide some power to the train because you'll change that gradient and change that magnetic pattern. Thanks so much for your question. This is a really interesting topic and stuff like it is what got me into physics in the first place.